Hello everyone and welcome to this another episode of 2D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kasanas. In the last episode, we took care of, of, oh yes, enemy health pickups, or pickups in general. You can use it for anything you want to. That's what we did in the last episode. In this episode, this is going to be a really short episode, guys. Uh, what I want to do um, is I want to do a little bit more on audio, and I probably should have added this in the last audio, in the, in the only audio uh, video that I'd done so far. I probably should have added it then, and I didn't. Uh, what I want to do is I want to add, I want to tell you about a, another option for creating audio, rather than simply uh, having an audio, uh, an audio source that's on your on your character or on your player, whatever you want to do. Um, there's another way to do it through code uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to tell you how to do that today particularly what we're going to do is take a look at how to make a sound um, once you have destroyed uh, the creature all right so one of the creatures one of our enemy all right so let's get started okay so this is basically what I'm going to show you is basically a, a way of playing an audio source without actually having an audio source associated with your with your character we currently have one here and we currently have we don't have one on our enemy so let's take a look at the enemy first we're going to use the same technique uh, for the player let's take a look at our code and see why we're going to want to do this um, currently uh, with our enemy health good our enemy health is open here um, what we want to do is we want to take a look at make dead our make dead comes in and it destroys our game object. That means get rid of whatever was this is associated with. So we're destroying our actual uh, creature. All right, that's the first thing. The next thing we do is we instantiate our enemy death effects, which is the particle system, and we instantiate a drop. Now, the code goes through. It, it goes through this entire thing. It comes through, and then it, and then it, it, it actually activates or, or works upon this code. When it destroys the game object that this that this whole thing is associated with, it will destroy anything that is associated with that game object. So any particles, these particles have been instantiated. They're an entirely different object, so it's not going to destroy that, and it's not going to destroy the drop. But if there was actually a particle system on the game object, or if there was a sound playing on the game object, as soon as the game object was destroyed, it would immediately be cut off. We would lose our sound, and we don't want that. We have a couple of options here. We could, if we wanted to, uh, add an audio source uh, to our to our death effects, like to our particle system, so that and it would be really easy. Add an audio source, uh, put a clip in there, play on awake, uh, and as soon as the as soon as the uh, particles themselves were generated, we would get the sound that we wanted for our enemy death. That's one way of doing so, and. Um, why I don't want to do it like that. I mean, it, let's say, let's say, right now I'm using one death effect for everything. Uh, I'm using so no matter what we kill, we're getting that blood splatter. If the, if the player dies, blood splatter. If the the creature dies, blood splatter. Um, and what I want to do is be able to have a different sound effect. Let's say for each one of those. Uh, and I could either do so by creating a bunch of different uh, a bunch of different. Um, uh, particle systems, one for each thing, one for the plants, one for the, one for the rocks, one for the creatures, whatever, and having a different sound for each one. But doing it this way here is going to let me show you something else interesting in code as well. <laughs> so that's really why I'm doing it. Anyway, let's get started right here. In the code itself, we're going to make a, a couple of changes here. Uh, I'm going to add a public audio clip, and an audio clip is basically holds your sound. All right, this the audio clip is basically the thing that that holds your sound. And I'm going to call this here. I'm going to call this thing here. Um, Death knell. It doesn't matter what you call it. <laughs> death knell. All right, that is our death sound. All right, uh, and with this, it's a public function. So I'm sorry, public variable. So I'm going to be able to access it through our inspector. Great. Uh, what I want to do is I want to come down here, and when I instantiate after I've destroyed the object, I want the sound to continue. I want the sound to actually play. Uh, and we can use um, we can use the audio source by declaring an audio source audio audio source at the bottom by declaring an audio source and using the built-in play clip at point. Basically, what this does is it'll play a sound at the location we tell it to play it. All right, so wherever we say play the clip at this location, this is you know for 3D sounds really, but at the point that we say play it, it's going to actually play that sound. So play clip at point. What do we want to play? We want to play the what did I call it? Enemy uh, death knell. What did I call it? No, I didn't call it enemy anything. I called it just death knell. Death knell right there. So play death knell, uh, and I want to play it at this transforms current position. The current position of the transform will be stored in here, so it'll actually launch at that location. All right, that's it. 
that's all we gotta do I'm gonna say file and I'm gonna say save and I'm gonna go into my creature let me find my health and make sure everything looks good boom I've got myself an audio clip and let's choose it I'm gonna set this little tiny circle right here bam and uh, what do I want melee hit that's the sound I want when this guy dies alright let's go take a look and hear let's go take a hear if this is actually working jump jump shoot come chase me chase me chase me all the way all right let's go kill his buddy now let's now let's listen perfect splat that is exactly what we wanted to hear all right we're gonna do exactly the same thing for the uh, player health all right exactly the same thing there's no reason not to we had the same problem with our player uh, do we have the same problem with the player yet? When we kill him? Yeah, we destroy him. Alright, let's go back. Take a look at our pl our player. Where is he? What'd I call him? I called him... Uh, what'd I call him? What'd I call you? Character. There he is. Character. Uh, let's go into our character here, and we're going to do exactly the same thing. Our character actually already has an audio source. We play it. I forget why we use it. We use it for something fun. Oh, for his grunt. Alright. But we're going to do exactly the same thing to make sure that when our player dies, our player make dead... Uh, we're going to do exactly the same thing. And that way we get... Let's go up here and declare our sound. Uh, where should I put it? I'll put it right, under the, right above this audio source. Um, public audio clip. I'm doing this one more time for you guys. And let's call it a player death sound. Doesn't matter what you call it. All right, player death sound. We're going to go down here into the make dead and right below, right before, after I destroy, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to declare my audio source. So I have access to the play clip at point. And I want to play the player death sound. And I want to play it at the player's location. Uh, transform. Transform. Dot position. Boom! All right, now when our player dies, let me save this file, save. When our player dies, it's going to play the clip at wherever he died. All right, let's give it a try. Play. Bounce to our death. It's a long death. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> let's let this guy kill us. Oh, my sound didn't play. Why didn't my sound play? Let's take a look at why. We've got, oh, I know why. Because we don't actually have, we have a missing reference. <laughs> Let's go to our character. Let's find our health. Our health right uh, here. Where is it? None. Player death sound. Let's just give it the same sound. You can, you can give it any sound you want. Audio. This time I'll just drag it and drop it. Uh, melee hit. And right there. Let's try that again. Take a little bit of damage here. One, two. Three, four. Come and kill me. Oh, good hit. Come and kill me. Boom. Dead. All right, guys. So that gives you an alternative method of of actually playing a sound, and it's the only method of playing a sound if you destroy the game object. All right. Uh, other, otherwise, you'd have to put it on. Like I said, you'd be able to put it on to one of the things that you've already created, one of the uh, one of the existing objects, one of the particle effects, or something like that. Play a sound from there. Also, a, an awesome option. But this one here allows you to have a different sound with each and every one of the characters. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode. A short one, but a good one. All right. Add in your sounds. I hope your games are coming along really, really well. This game here is moving along. We've got our enemies. We've got ourselves our character. We've got ourselves our sound. We've got ourselves our, our, our death. Uh, we've got ourselves ev almost everything we need for a game right now. Our, our drops. Everything is almost done. So I'm hoping you guys are going along and working ahead uh, and, and doing stuff to start building yourself an awesome game. Show me down in the comments, guys. I'd love to see what you're doing. You know, set up a link somewhere. Put something up somewhere where I can see it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below. And if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.